get a lot of uh, haze on the horizon. So the higher up you are, you might get a clear shot of the moon. So if you're up somewhere like Perfumo Canyon, um, up a little higher, it, you might end up with some clearer shots. But uh, but yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna look a little different depending on your altitude. Make sure to charge all your batteries. Make sure you have any lenses that you're gonna want to use um, for the shoot, ready to go. Everything packed up and. Uh, you know, try to go to bed early. <laughs> you can get applications for your smartphone that'll help you find it. There's an app called Sun Surveyor that's really good. There's a bunch of different ones out there and you can plug in the time and, uh, and a lot of them have a live view function where you can actually see you know, what it's going to look like. When the moon is not eclipsed, it's really bright and you, you might be able to get away without using a tripod for, for a little bit. Like if you've ever taken pictures of a full moon, it'll look like that. Uh, but then once the eclipse starts to happen, it gets it gets a lot darker. Um, uh, the Earth is actually stopping a lot of the light from reflecting off the moon. And then when it's fully eclipsed, it's a, a red color, but it's very dim. So you need a tripod to be able to, to take a picture of it without uh, any blur. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, if you're not a photographer, um, you might take it for granted that, oh, you'll wake up in the morning and you'll see a cool picture of it. But if you can wake up early enough and see it for yourself, it's it's a different experience.